This is part 17 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between add MVC and add MVC core methods. In our previous video, we discussed to set up MVC in an ASP.NET Core application, we use this add MVC method of this iServiceCollection interface. So we call this method within configureServices method in our startup class. Now if you notice, on this iServiceCollection interface, in addition to add MVC, we also have add MVC core method. So the obvious question that comes to our mind at this point is, then what's the difference between add MVC and add MVC core methods. Well, before we discuss the difference, let's return JSON data from this index action method of our home controller instead of returning a simple string. Notice when I type in this index action method, return this dot, notice we have a very small API. All these methods equals get hash code, get type, etc. They're coming from system dot object type from which all the types in .NET implicitly derive from. Now to be able to return JSON data from this index action method, I'm going to make our home controller class derive from the controller class provided by the ASP.NET MVC framework. This controller based class is present in Microsoft.ASP.NETCore.MVC framework. So let's bring this namespace in. Notice now when I type return this dot, we have a much bigger API. Now we need not specify a base class for our home controller class when we were returning a string from this index action method. But if we want to be able to return JSON data, or a view in MVC that is a dot .cshtml file from this index action method, then we have to make our home controller class inherit from the controller base class provided by ASP.NET MVC core framework. Now we want to return JSON data from this index action method. So I'm going to change the return type here to JSON result. All these result types that is JSON result, view result, partial view result, etc. are provided by this controller base class. We'll discuss these result types in detail in our upcoming videos. For now, let's return JSON data from our index action method. For that, I'm going to use JSON method and then we are going to create a new anonymous object. And this object is going to have just two properties, ID equals one and name equals Prajeem. With all these changes in place, let's run our project. Notice we see JSON data as expected. Now let's do a small change within startup class. Before that, let's remove one of the semicolons from here. And in our startup class, in this configure services method, instead of using add MVC method, let's use add MVC core method and then build our solution. Now let's reload this web page. Notice we have an error. Basically this error is saying the service that is required to format JSON data is not registered with the dependency injection container and that's because we're using add MVC core method instead of add MVC. So now let's discuss the differences. As the name implies, add MVC core method only adds the core MVC services. On the other hand, add MVC method adds all the required MVC services. Another important point to keep in mind is this add MVC method internally calls add MVC core method. So within our application, if we are using add MVC method, then there is no need to explicitly call add MVC core again because add MVC internally calls add MVC core. ASP.NET Core MVC is open source, so we can see the source code. On this GitHub page, we have add MVC method. Notice the first thing it is doing is calling add MVC core method, which adds the core MVC services. In addition to the core MVC services, it is also adding the other services that are required for MVC. And the service that we need to format JSON data is within this method. Now let's take a look at add MVC core method. Let's search for this method in the repository. Here 
Here is the source code for add MVC core method. Notice this method only adds the core MVC services. It doesn't add the JSON formatter service that we need and that's the reason we are seeing this error. I hope this clarifies the difference between add MVC and add MVC core methods. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching.